we are responsible for how we interpret the Christian tradition. You are responsible for how you interpret the Christian tradition. It may be that there are influential friends and neighbours and clergy and the people you've met who say this, there's only one way of interpreting it or, or assume that there's only one way of interpreting it that's true and right and essential but it's up to you whether you accept that or not. Once you start to become aware of the alternatives, it's your choice. That's why I suggest that you do think about the alternatives. If in the end uh, you stay with the traditional one, then at least you've thought about it. So there is a, a principle of interpretative responsibility in the whole way in which I approach the Christian tradition. That is, that the way in which we interpret Christianity should not be dictated by any kind of uh, absolute assumptions about uh, revelation, you know, that God communicates in a particular way, or indeed uh, about history, that, that there is a particular set of historical events uh, which should dictate our interpretation of it, our understanding of it. Because there is always a great deal of ambiguity uh, about anything that's supposed to be a communication from God, anything that's supposed to have happened in history, particularly a long time ago. Uh, 